the aboriginals of Taiwan, including the Atayal, Bunun, Paiwan, Amis, Tao and other tribes, are the heirs of long traditions. While their documented history begins only a few thousand years ago, their oral traditions and genetic signatures reach far deeper. For example, Bunan tribe legends tell of an ancient deluge where a monstrous crab defeated a giant snake to save their ancestors. Such myths, echoing flood stories worldwide, may preserve Ice Age memories of rising seas and cataclysmic tsunamis. The islands of East Asia have always been both refuges and crossroads. Taiwan, Okinawa and their outlying islets stand like stepping stones between the Asian mainland and the Pacific, inviting daring migrations while also guarding their secrets in stone caves and coastal reefs. The prehistory of Taiwan is not merely a story of local settlement, but a saga of connection. Ancient peoples braved currents and typhoons to cross seas, carried with them the knowledge of fishing and boat building, and left behind bones that link them to lineages as wide-ranging as the Jomon of Japan, the Papuans of Melanesia, and the indigenous peoples of the Americas. At the heart of this tale lies Zuojan Man, the oldest known human fossil from Taiwan, who lived during the waning millennia of the Ice Age, when the Taiwan Strait was still a dry land bridge to the mainland. To understand him and his descendants is to glimpse the first chapters of Austronesian identity, the maritime traditions that would one day expand across the Pacific, and the deep ancestry that connects Taiwan to Tianyuan Man near Beijing, to Okinawa's Minatagawa skeletons, and ultimately to the farthest reaches of the Pacific world. During the last glacial maximum, sea levels fell as much as 120 metres, about 300 feet below today's levels. The Taiwan Strait, now a stretch of unpredictable waters, was then a broad grassy plain teeming with herds of deer, elephants and other Ice Age fauna. This land bridge connected Fujian to western Taiwan, allowing both animals and humans to migrate freely. It was in this landscape that Zhuozhen Man lived, leaving behind scattered parietal bones and molars along the Kailiao River in Tainan between 20,000 and 30,000 years ago. The fossils were first noticed by collectors who passed them to Professor Sung Wensun of Taiwan National University before they had been formally introduced to the academic world and became known as Zhuozhen Man. Dating through manganese fluoride methods confirmed their antiquity, anchoring them in the late Pleistocene. Though tools have not been found alongside these bones, archaeologists suspect that Zhuozhen Man may have belonged to or overlapped with the Changbin culture of eastern Taiwan, which flourished between 15,000 and 5,000 years ago. Zhuozhen Man's fossils are not a single skeleton, but a series of fragments collected across different sites, each offering a glimpse into a population rather than an individual. These people hunted, foraged and fished along the Ice Age rivers and coasts, sharing their landscape with elk and other now extinct species. They may not have left elaborate tools or carvings, but their presence connects Taiwan's human story firmly to the mainland and to the great migrations that swept across East Asia at the end of the Pleistocene. If Zhuozhen Man is a fragmentary ghost, the Changbin culture gives us a clearer window into Taiwan's prehistory. First identified at Baxiandong Cave, this culture lasted from about 15,000 years ago until as late as 5,000 years ago. Its people used large pebble tools in early phases, suggesting a hunting and gathering adaptation, but later layers contained quartz microliths, bonefish gorges and shell ornaments, pointing toward a specialised maritime way of life. By 10,000 years ago, these communities had developed a strong reliance on fishing and shellfish gathering, especially along Taiwan's southeastern coast. This transition mirrors broader patterns across the Western Pacific, where human groups increasingly turned to the sea for sustenance as forests shrank and coastlines shifted with rising seas. The Changbin culture, therefore, can be seen as Taiwan's first coastal civilization, a precursor to the Austronesian maritime societies that would later arise. While Zhuozhen Man lived in an Ice Age landscape, another pivotal chapter in Taiwan's story comes much later, with the Austronesian expansion beginning around 4,000 years ago. Genetic and linguistic evidence suggests that Taiwan was the launching ground for the vast Austronesian diaspora that spread across the Pacific and Indian Oceans. 
Orchid Island, known to its indigenous Tao people as Pongso no Tao, preserves one of the clearest traces of this history. Settled during the early Austronesian phase, the Tao maintained close ties with the Ivatan people of the Batanes Islands in the Philippines. Their canoes, rituals and language all testify to a continuity of seafaring that links Taiwan southward into island Southeast Asia. While Zhuzhen Man represents deep prehistory, the Tao embody the living outcome of millennia of maritime adaptation. Archaeological research shows that Taiwan was not only a springboard to the south, but also a stepping stone to the northeast. Voyages from Taiwan to the southern Rukyus, Yonaguni and Ishigaki could be completed in as little as three to five days using dugout canoes. During the last glacial maximum, shorter sea gaps and exposed islets made these crossings even easier. Evidence from Okinawa's Sakatari Cave has transformed our understanding of these early voyages. In 2016, archaeologists discovered shell fish hooks dating to 23,000 years ago, contemporaneous with the Minatagawa skeletons also found on Okinawa. These hooks were not for catching small coastal fish, but for targeting larger, deep-sea species, proof that humans in Okinawa possessed seaworthy boats and sophisticated maritime knowledge. Their culture, deeply tied to fishing, parallels what we know from Taiwan and Indonesia, hinting at a connected maritime tradition across the Western Pacific. The Minatagawa people themselves, dated to roughly 20,000 years ago, show morphological affinities to both Jomon populations and Southeast Asian lineages. This positions Okinawa as a midway point, a genetic and cultural bridge between Taiwan and Japan. Genetic studies place Taiwan's Aboriginal peoples within the Austronesian family, but they also carry signals of older lineages. These include affinities to early East and Southeast Asians, tying them not only to modern Pacific Islanders, but also to populations such as the Jomon, and even to deeper layers represented by Tianyuan Man. Discovered near Beijing, Tianyuan Man lived between 42,000 and 39,000 years ago, he is one of the earliest confirmed modern humans in East Asia, a representative of what scholars call the East and Southeast Asian lineage. Genetic analysis shows that while Tianyuan is not directly ancestral to modern populations, he represents a basal branch that contributed to later East Asians, Southeast Asians and even Native Americans. Tianyuan's mitochondrial DNA belonged to haplogroup B, a lineage still common in Taiwan and throughout Austronesian peoples. His paternal lineage belonged to haplogroup K2b, also deeply rooted in Asia and Oceania. These findings demonstrate a genetic thread connecting the first modern humans in northern East Asia with later populations who would settle Taiwan and spread across the Pacific. Morphologically, Tianyuan Man displayed southern traits, consistent with theories that early humans followed a southern coastal route into East Asia before adapting to colder northern climates. This southern heritage resonates with the maritime traditions seen in Taiwan, Okinawa and ultimately the Austronesian expansion. When we place these strands together, a striking picture emerges. Taiwan's Zhuzhen Man, living 20,000 to 30,000 years ago, anchors the island firmly in late Pleistocene East Asia. The Changbin culture shows that by 15,000 years ago, Taiwan's inhabitants were turning decisively toward the sea. Voyagers crossed to Okinawa by 23,000 years ago, crafting advanced fish hooks and establishing settlements that would influence the Jomon. And at the base of these regional stories lies Tianyuan Man, a representative of the deep ancestry that binds East Asians, Southeast Asians, and even distant Native Americans. Taiwan thus becomes more than a local story. It is a keystone in the vast web of human dispersals that carried Homo sapiens from Africa into Asia, through island chains, and across the Pacific. The Aboriginal peoples of Taiwan are not isolated remnants, but living inheritors of a legacy that begins with Tianyuan Man and spans to the Polynesians of the far Pacific. While Zhuzhen Man and the Changbin culture illuminate Taiwan's late Pleistocene, an even older find lies submerged in the Penghu Channel. Fishermen dredged up a robust human mandible, later dubbed Penghu Man. Analysis suggested that it belonged to a Denisovan, who are distinct from modern humans yet younger than Homo erectus. 
Some scholars argue it may represent a population that survived in East Asia until as recently as 30,000 years ago. This jaw, together with other vertebrate fossils, speaks to Taiwan's role as a corridor for human movement deep into prehistory. During glacial periods, the Penghu Trench was dry, exposing fertile plains where both archaic and modern humans could have lived. Whether the Penghu hominins interacted with early modern humans like Zhuozhen Man remains unresolved, but the possibility that Taiwan hosted overlapping populations adds depth to its prehistoric record. The prehistory of Taiwan is not a tale of one fossil or one culture. It is a tapestry woven from the bones of Zhuozhen Man, the tools of the Changbin Caves, the Penghu jaw from drowned plains, the fish hooks of Okinawa, and the genetic markers of Tianyuan Man. It is the story of how an island became both refuge and launch pad, how its people navigated seas long before the invention of agriculture, and how their descendants crossed oceans to shape one of humanity's greatest diasporas. From the Ice Age plains of the Taiwan Strait to the storm-swept waters of the Ryukyus, from the flood myths of the Bunun to the mitochondrial lineages that link Taiwan to Polynesia, the narrative is one of resilience, adaptability and connection. Taiwan's Aboriginal peoples are not just modern communities fighting for recognition, but living witnesses to a history that begins 30,000 years ago and resonates with some of the deepest currents of human ancestry. In this way, Taiwan's prehistory reminds us that islands are never truly isolated. They are crossroads of migration, laboratories of survival and memory keepers of the human journey. To stand on Taiwan's shores is to stand at the confluence of time itself, where the bones of Zhuozhen Man whisper across millennia and the waves carry echoes of Tianyuan Man, Okinawa's fishers and the seafaring ancestors who would one day chart the Pacific. Thank you for watching.